The ayes to the right, 317. The noes to the left, 301. Testing times for UK politicians. Testing times for UK markets as traders hang on for a roller coaster ride in sterling. Tuesday night saw the pound tumble 0.7% against the dollar when lawmakers voted to demand Prime Minister Theresa May renegotiate the terms of Brexit. Wednesday morning saw it bounce by a third of a percent as investors bet the government would still avoid exiting the EU without a withdrawal deal. The big question is, and the EU have already said they're not going to reopen the withdrawal agreement, is whether or not the EU will accept any renegotiation. The market is going to struggle to square that particular circle. And no to renegotiation has been the line from French President Emmanuel Macron, European Parliament Brexit negotiator Guy Verhofstadt and the EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier. The EU institution remain united. And we stand by the agreement we have negotiated with the UK. Which leaves analysts scratching their heads over what happens next. That's what markets are now focusing on. Who's going to blink first as we head into the middle of February and another meaningful vote? Another key Brexit vote pencilled for the UK Parliament on February the 13th. By then, lawmakers should know whether the EU is ready to make concessions after all, or whether Theresa May is on course to lose what backing she won in Parliament on Tuesday. In the meantime, there are some temporary winners. UK stocks, exporter heavy and boosted by weaker sterling, were up nearly a percent on Wednesday morning.